Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about monophasic, biphasic and triphasic Doppler waveforms. This is a spectral Doppler waveform which is seen in blood vessels during a spectral Doppler study. This line is the baseline. Usually Whenever a waveform is seen above the baseline, it is considered forward flow. And when the waveform is seen below the baseline, it is called flow reversal. This is a monophasic waveform, which means it only has one component, that is a single forward flow component throughout the cardiac cycle. A monophasic waveform will not have a sharp peak. Instead, we will find a blunt peak and a broad waveform, and the waveform will not cross the baseline. So, this is a monophasic waveform. Here is another example of a monophasic waveform. We only see one component that is of forward flow and the waveform does not really cross the baseline. There is zero diastolic flow. Only one component is seen that is of forward flow. This is another example of a monophasic waveform. The waveform is seen at only one side of the baseline. The waveform does not cross the baseline, so only a single component is present, which makes it a monophasic waveform. No sharp peaks are seen within the waveform. In this waveform, we see two components. One is of forward flow and the other component is reverse flow during early diastole. Two prominent components are seen, so it is a biphasic waveform. The waveform has crossed the baseline. Here is another biphasic waveform. We have a large forward component and a small reverse flow component. So two components are present. Therefore, it is a biphasic waveform. This is another biphasic waveform. We see a large forward flow component and we also see a reverse flow component. So, two components are present. Therefore, it is a biphasic waveform and this waveform has crossed the baseline. Usually in veins, we find flow below the baseline because the blood is moving away from the probe. This waveform is from a hepatic vein. So you may find the waveforms being below the baseline due to the direction of the blood with respect to the ultrasound probe. This is also considered a biphasic waveform because we see two prominent components. One is a sharp systolic peak and the other one is forward diastolic flow. These type of waveforms can be a bit tricky in deciding whether they are biphasic or not. But if we see two prominent but different components, you can consider it as a biphasic waveform. In a triphasic waveform, you will find three distinct components. The first component will be forward flow during systole, then a reverse flow during the early diastole will be the second component, and the third component will be the forward flow during late diastole. So we see three components. Therefore, it is a triphasic waveform. 
Here is another example of a triphasic waveform. We have a forward flow component, then a reversed flow component, and a third forward flow component. The waveform has crossed the baseline. This is another example of a triphasic waveform. We see three distinct phases or components during a cardiac cycle, so we consider it as a triphasic waveform. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.